there's like all these beautiful things that you can see in the world and even though you may not know that they're there it's important to go look for them when i'm drawing it's kind of like i can shut out the whole world all insecurities and fears kind of are non-existent and it's just me whatever it is i'm doing still do have a lot of demons that I have yet to conquer and I'm less afraid to be myself you know realize that myself is much better than what I was before I grew up without a mom or a dad I live with my grandma my whole life I live with five boys it's like cleaning up all the time I kind of feel like a maid at home or like a mom taking care of my younger brothers when I'm with Dreamers, I could have fun, like hang out with people, do stuff that I wouldn't get to do if I was at home. Well, when I was little, I had a, a broken childhood. So I lived in a drug house. My dad said that when I was younger, I would always call the people zombies because my dad, he was a drug addict for about 13 years. I never saw my mom when I was little, only every once in a while because she was always working. I never saw my dad really because he was always out in the streets, but now he's clean. When I'm around people, I never really let them see or know about my past. Oh, and I'm gonna be the only one in my family to go to college, ever. I feel happier that I have done something for my family to be proud of since we've had so much depression, so much negativity. For them seeing me grow up and do something that no one's ever done in my family before. It's a new beginning. We have all these ideals that, you know, the world needs to be fair, just, but the thing is, it's just not. We all need a little bit of help. So with Dreamers, they pointed out this path of education they had to follow. This program's really good for those kids who want more than what they have. And with Dreamers, their dreams won't be dreams anymore. They'll be reality. I want to be a nutritionist or a dietitian. I'm a type 1 diabetic. I've been one since 2008. When I didn't know that I was a diabetic, but I was having those symptoms, I like drifted away. I became isolated. And I just want to be back to my bubbly self. I feel like I can be who I was, but it's going to take time. They helped me stay on track by contacting me a lot and checking in with my school, see what kind of classes I need to graduate on time. I'm shy in front of people I don't know. I don't like talking. It's weird. But they've helped me overcome that fear of public speaking because we do it a lot. It's important to know that there's someone there that is willing to help you to succeed because they actually care, to mentor, to get a view on life as an adult. If it weren't for Dreamers, that I probably wouldn't have made it this far. I probably wouldn't even consider going to college. Looking at PSU and Western at the moment, maybe Linfield, and I'm probably gonna go into graphic design because I like drawing, you know, as long as I got pencil in my hand, some paper, just drawing, I'll be good. They find art camps for me, they take me there, they pick me up, they pay for it because if they weren't paying for it, I wouldn't be able to go at all. They helped me find schools that were helpful to me and schools that I might enjoy. Help me pick out the college I want to go to and I don't think that I would do homework because at home it's not quiet, I can't focus. There's some place quiet I could go and do my homework. They help me understand like, well, basically that I'm an amazing person. Just like having someone there, they're always just a phone call away. I shouldn't be afraid to step out and be my own person because I know that these people care a lot for me and there's really, there's nothing wrong with me. I just saw it as you're never alone and you can always ask for help. I felt like I had five different parents. They were always pushing me giving me challenges. They would always find ways to get to me, like calling my parents or emailing me, getting to me on Facebook, all that stuff. Stuff don't come easy to you. You gotta work for what you want. You gotta do stuff you don't wanna do to get to where you wanna be. Even if you're going through many obstacles, you can overcome them. And it might be difficult at that time, but eventually you will. 
I believe in uh, working hard, not giving up on yourself, believe in yourself. The world isn't as small as I made it out to be. The cover of a book may dictate a lot about the book, but you have to open up the pages to read it to figure out the story. Our story, I think, is that we can overcome anything. We are the future, and even though we've had some hard times, we can continue with our lives and make them better.